I'm Susie Sivkov. I've been a notary for more than 10 years and I'm here to help you learn the important steps it takes to become a notary in California. Before we dive in, I thought it would be helpful to briefly go over what notaries actually do and to touch on why the state makes applicants go through all of the steps I'll walk you through during this video. Notaries are responsible for verifying a person's identity, confirming they're aware of what they plan to sign, and that they're not being pressured to sign on that dotted line. Because the purpose of all of this is to protect the public, you'll need to meet a few requirements before you start the notary application process. While some states have more requirements than others, most of them include being 18 or older, being a legal resident of the state, and not having any felony convictions. Now there are a lot of important steps in California, so you might want to use a checklist to make sure you don't miss anything. California applicants need to take a notary training class, pass an exam, fill out an application, pay the state's commissioning fee, provide a passport style photo, and fingerprints for a background check. That may sound like a lot, but the training is just a few hours and it can be done in person or online. The test covers what you'll learn during the class, like the do's and don'ts of being a notary and the laws you need to follow. Once you've gotten all of that submitted to the California Secretary of State's office, you'll need to wait a few weeks depending on how many other applications the state is processing. The good news is that they update their website on a regular basis to reflect the current processing timeframes. When the California Secretary of State's office sends your Notary Commission certificate, you'll need to buy a Notary Surety Bond. Then you'll head over to the County Clerk's office to file it along with your Oath of Office. Next up, you'll need to buy your official California Notary Stamp, your journal, and a thumb printer. These tools lend trust to the transaction. They help protect the public, and they help protect you if any of your notarizations are questioned. There are a lot of optional supplies to help you carry out your day-to-day -day notary work, too. Consider using a guidebook that shows you the security features to look for when you check a signer's ID. And you might want to get a carry case that locks so you can keep your supplies secure. Now let's talk a little bit about notary errors and omissions insurance. This step is completely optional, but it's one you should seriously consider taking. While notaries should make every effort to avoid mistakes, if an error is made, having an E&O policy protects you as the notary. It's a really inexpensive way to give yourself peace of mind. If you'd like to learn more about becoming a notary, click the link below. Are you ready to become a California notary? Then visit us at nationalnotary.org slash California.